Analyze an ODP and ODQ. Loading data from ODP source systems directly to info providers. In DTP, you can specify data is to be loaded from ODP based data source. When the DTP is executed, data is requested directly from the underlying data source, for ECC extractors, this could be reading from underlying views or application tables, and then transferred to info provider via ODQ. The ODP extraction allows full as well as delta loads. Note. If errors occur during processing, you need to extract data again in BW because PSA is not available as buffer. For Delta DTPs, you can delete request from Delta DTP in any order, the Delta records contained in the request set for deletion are not requested from source anymore. In the next Delta request, the new changes come. To ensure that next Delta request contains the records from the deleted request also, proceed as follows. Set the retention period for data in the monitor for operational Delta Q so that deleted request data is still in source. Delete the request from Manage screen on target along with the newest request and all request in between. The next delta will have all data from source again in accordance with deleted request and request after this. After the retention period is over, the delta records are deleted from the operational delta queue in source system. Therefore, before deleting delta requests from info provider, check the retention period in source. The data may not be available there. If you have deleted and there is no data in source, you must delete all requests from the target and execute a new Delta request, Delta initialization. Monitoring the ODQ ODQ is data store in the source system. Delta data is written to ODQ via push or pull method. Example for 2 list underscore 11 underscore Vaten data source, Delta records are pushed via V3 jobs to ODQ. For zero cost center underscore ATTR, Delta records are pulled via an extractor interface. These points will be discussed in detail later on in the, the course. And SAP BW data source is an example of provider. The role of provider is to provide one or more Delta queues of specific type. The data source name matches the Delta Q name, for example, 2 list underscore 11 underscore Vatem. The target application of Delta Q is referred to as subscriber. Subscribers include BW, OData, Data Services, HANA Smart Data Integration and Search Analysis. A subscriber orders data changes from one or more queues. A subscription occurs when subscriber requests data. Every subscription has unique transaction number for example October 22, 2010, 803 and 22, 000, 000, 000, 000, 001 IST. A subscriber can have more than one subscription. The data is stored in a compressed state in the Delta Q. A Delta request transfers data records from the queue to the subscriber. The data changes to a queue can also be requested by more than one subscriber. A subscriber can also request data for recovery purposes, in other words, in case the subscriber needs to retrieve the data records again from a queue as a one-off request, full. In this case, the request is not a subscription. The data is retained in the Delta Q for a specified time period for the Delta Q monitor. You have control over how long to keep the Q's data after it has been successfully sent to all targets. The Delta Q monitor, Transaction Ogman, allows you to monitor Delta Q's. When you calculate the data volume, extended view, in the upper screen area of the monitor, the data volume and related key figures are calculated and displayed.
The calculation may take long time if lot of units are involved in delta Q. Therefore, the calculation is not performed automatically when monitor is opened. Queues. For each queue, the system counts the number of units, totals the rows and data volume, finds compression rate as well as sorts TSN. Subscriptions. For each subscription, the system counts the number of changes units per queue in delta Q. The system totals the changed rows and volume, before and after compression, and also finds compression rate. Requests. For each request, the system counts the number of units per queue, totals the rows and data volume and finds compression rate. Units. For a unit, the system totals the rows and volume of saved, non-retrieved data and also finds compression rate. Note that, system always performs calculation at the unit level. You can switch between monitor views by choosing queues, subscriptions, requests, and data units. You can also double-click on a row to change views. A request can be defined as a data request from a subscriber. There are two different types of requests as follows. A composite request transfers data from one or more queues that have been grouped together into a subscription. An extraction request transfers queue data from the provider to the queue storage. Unconfirmed request is a request that is not transferred by the subscriber. Used to see if for all requests, the extraction process was cancelled or terminated. To find the cause of the error, follow below steps. Use job overview, here you can display the log of the relevant job. In the application log, to code SLG1, you can analyze the data extraction logs, using object ODQ and subobject extraction. Use to reschedule failed extraction request. The extraction process is delayed by 60 seconds. This gives you a chance to activate debugging for the background job in the process overview, transaction SM50, or global work process overview, transaction SM66. Closing unconfirmed request. Used to conclude requests that are not confirmed or are cancelled by the subscriber. It may be necessary to close a request in the monitor due to below reasons. The request without subscription is not retrieved, example connection to target system was deleted. In such cases you should not assume that the subscriber will close the request by itself. The system could not extract the data changes, delta. In this case, none of the subscribers to this queue can continue transferring the new data, because data changes must be transferred seamlessly in sequence. Usually closing the failed request is not enough to continue the data transfer for that queue. You need to solve the root cause otherwise the next extraction will also fail. In the unit overview, you can display the units. Double clicking on a row displays the extracted data for a unit in the bottom of the monitor screen. Perform the following steps to terminate the subscription of an active subscriber. If Delta Q record changes for a subscriber who no longer retrieves data, you can terminate the subscription. In the subscriptions view, select the entries for the subscription and choose delete. Once the subscription is terminated, system still displays the requests in the request view until these are removed in reorganization run. Below figure shows automatic SAP jobs which run periodically for cleanup as maintained in reorganization settings. While defining ODP SAP data source, notice that the delta process of complete delta is present in data source. The DTP then which is set to run for this data source will run in delta mode by default. After first DTP execution, 
ODQ performs initial data load. This is because the checkbox delta init without data is not checked. Double click on unique timestamp to see ODQ units view. You should now be able to analyze ODP slash ODQ.